so welcome. Today is the Feast of Epiphany. It is the day when we remember the visit of the wise men who came from the east. Last week we looked at it um, in quite some depth, Um, but today those men from the east bringing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. That's right. We're still in the Christmas period. Of course, as you go around, you would see lots of things come down in houses Uh, Lights are being put away, but today we're going to focus on the light and the gifts that the wise men brought to Jesus in our first Sunday, our first Sunday meeting when we try to encourage as many families to come as possible. Let's remind ourselves of the Christmas story through the singing of our first song. It's got a bit of a calypso feel to it, so if you want to get the hips moving or a bit of side movement, feel free. But let's stand together and let's sing The Virgin Mary Had a Baby Boy. seated. Now, we have got three wise men in our meeting this morning. Now, I'm sure we've got more than three, so this is no offence attended. 
But we have three wise men who are going to come and share their little bit of journey with us. So if I could have those three wise men, we've got one from Persia, we've got one from Arabia, and we've got one from Babylon this morning. But we've also got a wise woman who's going to come and read the narrator part for us. So the three wise men in our narrator. Thank you. Long ago, in the lands of the Middle East, there were experts who studied the mysteries of the stars and planets. In Persia, a wise man read patterns in the stars and interpreted their meanings. In Arabia, a wise man made detailed drawings of the night skies and mapped every change he observed. And in Babylonia, a wise man looked to the stars for news and prophecies of great events. One night, they all spotted something new. A new star. It's separate from all the other constellations and brighter than them all. This can only mean one thing, the birth of a king. It first appeared above the eastern horizon and seems to be moving slowly across the skies, getting brighter all the time. It draws me towards itself like a magnet. I have never seen a star like this before. This must mark an extraordinary event. Only the birth of a king will be heralded like this. But such a star, he must be a king unlike any other. And so they came wondering and amazed, but sure-footed, following the bright star which moved slowly across the skies towards Bethlehem. The journey took weeks, so they camped out in the desert and slept in the starlight. Thank you. So the star heralding some wonderful news, a new star that had never been seen before. And these Eastern men believing that the star appearing must mean a new king. On the tables, there is a star, whether it's a gold star or um, a, a snowflake star. So I'm going to invite you to take a star and there are some gems on the tables as well. And every gem that you pick up, I want you to think of someone who you would like to know about Jesus. It might be a family member, it might be a friend. And to think of them as a gem. Think of them as a child of the king. And for you to place that gem on the star... And be praying for that person as you put their gem on the star. Now, it might be that you just have one, but it might be that you have uh, a constellation of gems. Quite a few gems that get put on that star. And you be praying for each person as you put the gems on the star. Now, there are four tables about. Uh, perhaps they're behind you or on either side of you. I invite you to get a star and a few gems where you can start praying for those people and putting those gems on the star. So if you hold your star in your hand and thinking about all of those gems that you have placed on the star of people that you can pray for, let's just lift up those names before God right now. Whether you want to just say their name or if you want to put their name in a sentence, 
But just saying their name is enough to lift them up to God. But if you want to remain silent, that's fine as well. Father, I pray for Mark and Marilyn, Anita and Eric. Father, you know how precious each one of these people are that we have placed on our stars today. And we hold them in our hands, lifting them up in prayer to you. And we pray, dear Father, for opportunity to invite them to know about you. We pray for opportunity to have conversations about you with them. Not forced conversations, but just opportune. And Father, we pray that each one of those whose gem we have placed on the star, that they themselves will recognize that they are precious gems in your sight, that you long to have relationship with them. And we pray that this be the year that we see our prayers being answered for these people. And we will see the kingdom of God extended as each one of those people that we are praying for comes into a sure and deep knowledge of who you are. And so, Father, we lift these people up and we pray that we will continue to be a light that shines for them. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing another song to do with the stars. Now, for those of you who have a long history in the Salvation Army and used to belong to the singing company, this is a song that you might well know. So I invite those of you who would know this to sing out even louder and the rest of you will pick it up as we go along. done. (laughs) Did that bring back memories, singing that song? The chorus was very easy to follow, but thank you. Thank you for singing that with such gusto. Now, you have your star. So that night, there was a strange, bright star. What was that strange, bright star which traveled across the sky from the east that stood still over Bethlehem. Astronomers suggest that what the Bible describes as a star may well have been a comet. Now, in the, um, in the history books, the Chinese have actually recorded in 5 BC a long tail comet that flew over the sky. Now, many of us would know about Halley's Comet that we see over so many years go streaming by. We might not see it in Northern Ireland because it's always so cloudy in the skies and we might not be able to see it. But it's there recorded in 5 BC that a very fiery comet 
comet flew over the stars. But of course, 5 BC could have been around the time if uh, you look at the way in which the calendar was recorded. And that comet, believe it or not, blazed across the sky for 70 days, which would fit in, of course, with this uh, phenomena, being in the sky for so long for different groups of people to be able to travel to see what that star was meaning. And one scholar, Colin Humphreys, his name, suggests that the wise men followed that comet with its fiery tail with it. So, you've got your star, that it's got its gems, and I invite you to add a fiery tail to that star. And on the table, you have some glue dots, and this is where it gets just a little bit fiddly, okay? So, with the glue dot, you just need to uh, peel back the backing Put the glue dot either on the star or on the tail and then peel the little bit of plastic backing and then stick your fiery tail to the star and it will look something like that, that flies through, okay? So while you are doing that, I'll give you just a few moments. But if you get your glue dot, the glue dot's looking, you know, a bit of like this. <coughs> Where's your tail? Where's your comet, Jack? Get your fiery tail to stick on your star. <coughs> So as you're putting that fiery tail on, we're going to um, watch a video that will tell us about this important story. The story of Christmas, Jesus and the wise men. This is Jesus. Booyah! Jesus is the son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. <laughs> His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hello. Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset, ah! as was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah, not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews star first appeared. Oh God. And then King Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was, so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. 
Woo-hoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. So it's only right that we sing about these wise men from the East. Any guesses of a song that we could sing to do with wise men? We three kings, let's stand up and we will sing We Three Kings. And I invite you, song 129, and I invite you to bring your offering and imagine that you are a wise man bringing your gifts to Jesus as we sing this song.
Father God, we come to you this morning and we give you our thanks and our praise. We thank you this morning for these gifts. We know that all good gifts come from you. We ask you now to bless the giver and bless this gift. May it be used wisely to promote your work in this particular place. We continue to thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So on the tables, again, you will find either a piece of black card or a piece of gold card. Now, those of you who are really crafty will do this so much better than I. I mean, crafty in the sense of that you are good at crafts, not that you are full of mischief, okay? So, um, now, I'm, I'm not in any way, shape, or form built to make crafts. <laughs> I was not given that gift. I think I was last in line. So, my... Um, little activity will just be to roll up the cards and with a glue dot just to stick it along and therefore we have a telescope that we can look at the star okay that is as creative as I can get or the other way of course is to take one of the corners and then it looks a bit more like a megaphone but you can still use it as a telescope. So take those pieces of card with the glue dots and there are some stars on the tables that you can be sticking on to. Excellent, excellent. Now the important thing to remember about the wise men is they didn't spot this star by accident. They had been studying the skies for a lifetime. And they, it was their business to notice when something different appeared in the sky. It was their job to pay, to pay close attention to the skies and to what they saw. Friends, I know we've, we've built a funny little tele, um, telescope. We need to pay close attention to what God might be trying to show us this year. What he might be inviting us to come and see about himself. We don't need a telescope for this to be able to see what God has to show us. But we do need to pray pray for our gems we also need to study his word to see what he has to say to us so the first thing that we can learn from those men from the east from those wise men this morning just as they paid attention to the stars in the sky we need to pay attention to what God might be inviting us to see this year. So the second thing that the wise men have to teach us will be in a rug. Okay, so on the tables, there are pieces of carpet, small pieces of cloth, it's a bit like a rug. And this is really, really simple because you will find a piece of wool as well. And I invite you to just put the wool in half and then roll up your carpet into a rolled up rug and then you can tie the rug with the wool. Okay, that's quite easy to do. Not too much involved in that activity. The hardest bit will be rolling up the carpet. So you get a little rolled up rug looking just like that. Roll it up, tie it together. Okay, so while you're rolling up your rug, 
You see, for those wise men, following that star, it meant going on a long journey. Jack, have a look at everybody through the telescope. Who can you see? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. See your mummy. Where's your, go and get your rug. Let me see your rug, Jack. Go and get your rug so we can look at that as well. Okay, so we can have a look at it. See how it's made. So that for those wise men, it meant going on a long journey. And they needed to be able to sleep at night so they would have their rolled up rug. At night, they'd be able to unroll it and have a comfortable place to sleep at night. You know, we may have lived in the same place all of our lives, or we may have My moved. <gasps> wow, your mum is amazing. My mummy made it for me. Yay, that's great. Get ready because we're going to make something else in a minute. Okay? We may live in the same place all, all our lives, or we may have been journeying in different places along the way. But wherever we live, and this is what the wise men have to teach us through this rolled up rug. Wherever we may live, Jesus calls us on a spiritual journey of growth and development. He wants us to grow and change to become more like Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, not the destination. The destination comes later. Following Jesus means leaving some of our old ways behind and being open to the new experiences that he might want us to have that will change us. So, the first one, to see all that God might have to show us in this coming year. The rolled up rug that we are called to go on a journey of faith. The next one on the tables, there is a box, and this is very simple. All you need to do is just to put some decoration on your box, and then you've got a little holder for your star and your rug that will hold your item. So all you need to do, you might want to use pens, you might want to use the stickers, but this will be your gift box like the kings had with them. Now, the wise men didn't go empty-handed to Jesus. The Bible tells us that they opened their treasure chests and they offered him gold. Now, I couldn't afford gold today. So I got the next best thing, which was gold munchies. <laughs> so that's what you've got this morning for your wise, for your box. So the wise men offered their gifts, their treasure chests, to offer gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We need to be prepared to give generously of our time, our energy, our resources, and of course ourselves. Following Jesus is not without cost. And that's the third thing that we can learn from those wise men. We need to be generous givers. Let us turn back to our stars again that we have made. As we remember the journey that the wise men made, it was initially by following a star leading them. Our prayer is that the light will always lead us to Jesus. So I invite you to take your star once again, just to place it in your hand. And I invite you to repeat this prayer after me. Lord, you are our light. Lord, you are our light. May we follow you faithfully, May trusting that you will lead us. 
Jesus, light of the world, your love shines like a bright star. May you draw us closer to you. Amen. 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 So I invite you to stand and to sing our final song together. Lord, the light of your love is shining. Song 261. Let's stand together. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. Amen.